Appreciate you. Thank you. If I decide I want to, I'll, I'll reach out. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I was going to call and check the availability of the vehicle. Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, yeah, it's a, let's see right here, 2018 Honda Civic Sport, 57,000 miles. 2018 Honda Civic Sport. Okay, no, he's not asking my name or anything like that. Okay, he's just going to give me information. Okay, cool. Um, come in and take a look at it? Yeah, and where are you located? Okay, I got you. No, I'm about three hours away. I'm just a little bit too far away. I think I'm gonna, I like the car, but I'm gonna look for one a little bit closer. Okay, okay. Okay, well, I really appreciate you. Yeah, sure. Okay. Right. Bye. Wow. Is that what happens when someone says they're a couple hours away? We just say, hey, have a nice day. Let's call another one. Danny, how can I help you? Yeah, Danny, I was gonna check the availability of a vehicle. Maybe Danny's taking a nap. Yeah, it's a Dodge Challenge, uh, Charger. I got the stock number if you like. 2018, charcoal gray. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead with the stock number. C3141-4. Now, Dan, watch, he hasn't got my name yet. Okay, is he an order taker? Does he work at McDonald's? Now, let me ask you this. If I was going to check in on a vehicle, hey, by the way, where are you calling from today? Who, am I, who do I have the pleasure of speaking with? How are you doing? Right? Do you agree, Dan, we have to build relationships on the phone? Yeah. People don't care about how much you know until they know how much you care. If he gets back on the phone and he tells me, hey, Andy, I still have this thing. He doesn't even know my name yet. <laughs> okay. But let's just say he gets back on there and he says, yeah, it's still available. What time can you make it? He is an order taker. But just call it out like it is, okay? And I have no idea why he said, what are you calling about? And then he puts me on hold. To me, that's, he doesn't know what to do. Let me train him. We'll wait. Okay, awesome. Um, um, well, I actually wanted to ask a question. Uh, what, what's your best price? Uh, yes. Yeah. So, what 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 would be your best price? Uh huh. Uh, twenty nine 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 five. Okay. So, are you saying you can't give me a better deal? Well, I mean, there's always a possibility. But when would you want to come in and take a look at it? Well, so the internet was created so I could just kind of gather some general information over the phone, and that was kind of my my goal. I guess it's, yeah, so, so right now, uh, what is it listed at uh, 29995? Um, so if you wanted to come in, take a look at it, I mean, we could always discuss, uh, you know, options. I mean, everything on our lot is, uh, is, is, is you know. He could have put this to bed in two seconds. On. However, he could have put it to bed. We do put our best foot forward with it being online. Uh, now, do you think it's hard for him to overcome the price objection with no relationship with me? Very technological age. He's talking about technological age. Okay, totally appreciate it. Look, uh, if I decide I want to come in, I'll let you know. Thank you so much, okay? All right, man. Have a good day. All right, bye-bye. Right. Now, I want to say this. He didn't get my name, didn't get my number, didn't get any information. He did what? He was an order taker. He said, what are you looking for? He said, it's still available. What time can you make it? If you look like your competition, if you sound like your competition, you get treated like your competition every single time. Yeah, I was gonna call and check the availability of a vehicle. Okay. Um, are you saying you need someone in sales or service? Yeah, someone in sales. Okay, hey, this is just for you, all right? Sales is Stanley, can I help you? Hey, how you doing today? I was gonna check the availability of a vehicle, please. All right, which one were you looking at, sir? Yeah, the 2018 GMC Sierra. Um, and I got the stock number if you like. Give me just a moment, let me get my website up here. Is it the 
black one or the white one? Uh, black one. Now I want you to notice, he didn't yeah. even ask me my name. Oh, okay, he didn't ask me my name. He's not building a relationship with me. He's just handing out information, Hello? okay? Yes, sir. The black Denali. The Denali? Uh-huh. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm here. Now here's my main deal. At this point, you should be building a relationship with me. I still have that one out okay, there. Okay, watch. Okay, awesome, beautiful. Okay, so you still have it. Um, what would be your best price? Uh, 53.9. Okay, so you're saying I can't get a better deal at all? I'm not saying you couldn't, but you know, uh, as far as any, any prices that change from that price, I'd have to, we'd have to negotiate with the managers. Okay. My best price is the price online. You know, I'm not saying that they're not gonna sell it to you any cheaper. I mean, they're probably, probably will, so. So they will, or are they? There's, well, I, I can promise it to you. Like I said, it's just, I mean, you have to come to the store and, you know, sit down with me and, I, you know, if you want to make offer. I got to come and sit that. in, go through the process of the way things have been the last 20 years? Oh. As far as me giving you a price, you know, whatever price you see online is the price uh, until you come to the store. Okay. Okay, well, listen, I really appreciate you, okay? Thank you. It's a two-wheel drive, one owner, uh, nice truck, good car. Track, By the way, he hasn't got my name, doesn't house. know who I am, doesn't know if I've been in the market for a while, if I just started, where am I? come down and take a look at it? Um, no, man, I'm good. I'm, you know, the internet was created so I could try to make deals, you know, over the phone. Obviously, I don't want to go sit on the show and floor for a long time. I really appreciate you. Thank you. If I decide I want to, I'll, I'll reach out. Okay. Okay. Now, listen, the guy ended the conversation with, hey, why don't you go call Carbana and hung up. Now listen to me, if the training you have in place right now is working, here you go. How can I help you? Yeah, I was calling to check the availability of a pre-owned vehicle. Okay, one moment, please. Oh, this is John, how can I help you? Yeah, John, I was calling to check the availability of a vehicle. Yeah, which one were you looking at? Um, it's gonna be the 2019 Cadillac CTS Black. Now, if you notice, he hadn't got my name yet. It's still available. However, give me just a moment. I believe this one was parked out back. Let me ask my sales manager if there's something going on with it. So give me just a moment, all right? Okay. All right, I'm going to put you on a quick hold. I'll be right back. Okay, now, I want to say this real fast. He told me that the Cadillac CTS that I'm calling about is parked around the back, and he wants to see if there's something going on with it. Now, my deal is, is that we paid how much money to get this lead? How much money? 500 bucks, whatever, right? $200, it doesn't matter to me. The fact is, is that this may not be the only car that this customer is gonna buy, but this customer's calling just to check the availability. The answer is, yes, it's still available. Hey, by the way, who am I speaking with? Where are you calling from today? Oh my gosh, it's so great meeting you. Have you had the chance to drive one of these? These are super nice cars. None of that's happened. And by the way, he's already put me on hold and he doesn't even know my name. I'm gonna ask you this, what kind of connection is made? Yes, I am still here. Yeah, they were just putting a new tire on it, so uh, it is, it's done, it's ready to go. I don't think so the customer needed to know that. Okay, awesome. Um, okay, and, and what's going to be your best price on it? So we do put our best foot forward when it comes to our pricing, because we do we price everything on a live market, and we're a total non-commissioned sales staff. So our, the 36.5 you see on the website there, that, that is going to be our best price. Okay, so you're saying I can't get a better deal at all? I might be able to save you maybe 100 bucks or so, but anything, anything past that, we unfortunately just don't do things like that. Okay, well, I guess I'll keep shopping. Thank you so much. Yeah, no problem. All right, bye-bye. Guess what? All I asked was, is that your best price? And guess what? He said, yeah, that is our price. We don't put our second best price up, we put our first best price. Just like everybody else in the world said. By the way, he didn't get my name. He doesn't have a connection with me. He doesn't know how my day's going. He doesn't know how long I've been shopping for a car. He doesn't know where I'm at in the buying funnel. You know why? Because he doesn't care. He's a nice person who's an order taker and should be working at McDonald's because he's never been trained. And at the end of the day, why would we give somebody the information that we're putting a tire on the car and the car's pulled in the back? Do you think that's, that's, that's sexy? You think that makes me really want this one? Or you think me, that makes me feel in my gut that maybe this isn't the right car for me? 
I'm not gonna go any further with this. You know where I'm at. 